I was, I was, I was very excited about this, Brian. So I was making sure that I had everything where I wanted it to be. It's have perfect. a nice, clean palette. It's perfect. You look great. Good morning, my cafecito colleagues. Welcome to to today's Sabido Gigante. I'm glad you're here. Let me just tell you, I have had a fantastic visit with Morris White this morning. Uh, and, and I provided a phenomenal introduction. I talked <laughs> all about how he is mo fit. He's got the amazing. momentum. He puts us in motion with a holistic approach to personal fitness. Uh, and then about eight minutes into the show, because now it's eight, it's 9.09 on this mm -hmm. Sabido Gigante, the 29th day of August. Uh, I looked down and I realized that I got so excited to have this superstar on on Cafecito Con Colón that I forgot to connect us to Facebook. So I did like an eight minute <laughs> set all by myself with just Mo and me talking to each other. We had a nice Zoom. conversation. And I, and we, we were live. So anyway, I'm glad we're live now. Good morning, Dr. Lang. Good morning, Catherine. Uh, you all can laugh at me because uh, I, uh, I just played myself. Uh, let me just start out real quick now. And I've got to... Uh, be very focused this morning. Good morning, Mandy Altamirano and uh, Adrian Chavez. Hey, there you go. We got Lobo uh, protection here in Yay. the house. We got great, great folks uh, that are leading in the film security uh, industry. Wow, that's exciting. And Adrian, thank you for being here this morning. Let me quickly tell you about uh, Mo, and it's going to be 9 10 this morning, and I'm going to spend about 30 minutes with this superstar New Mexican who is transplanted from Philadelphia because he wanted the Southwest lifestyle. Now, now take a minute to look at the promo photo that I put up yesterday about Cafecito Con Colón and getting started today because there is a photograph of Mo White uh, who looks like he's right off the big screen. And talk about the big screen. I want to give a quick shout out to, to the friends and family of Chadwick, our, our superstar El Rey, the King, uh, Wakanda forever. And what a beautiful, beautiful mark he has made, not just on the film landscape, but in the lives of so many who were inspired by his work. Um, but but uh, so that's my shout out to Chadwick. Uh, uh, but but staying focused on Mo uh, and the big screen and the Southwest lifestyle. It looks, if you take a look at the promo photo I put up with Mo in his cowboy hat, and in his vest and his jeans, he looks like he's right off the big screen living the Southwest lifestyle. Let me tell you about Morris White, who is MoFit. He's going to help you find the momentum and put us in forward motion with a holistic approach to personal fitness. His brand began in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He's been in the personal fitness and training industry for 30 years, and he brings 30 years worth of experience to New Mexico. And it doesn't matter if you're like Dr. Joe McCaffrey, who's tuning in this morning, and you're all the way up in San Miguel County in Las Vegas, New Mexico, you can tune in via Zoom and get some great holistic personal training from Morris White. Uh, he right. is uh, just recently re relocated to New Mexico, but he's already New Mexican. He's a Coraleño. He lives in Corales, New Mexico. He's got a beautiful studio. If you take a look behind him there, you can see his beautiful, beautiful studio uh, let me put you, put you there. Look at that gallery view. I want to make sure everybody can see that great studio. Look at that. Look at that. That is that is fancy because he takes a holistic approach to personal fitness. Um, he's an active member. Here's let me just tell you why I love Mo White and why I love and why he gives me the motivation and the momentum to go forward. He not only has relocated his business from uh, Pennsylvania over to New Mexico into Sandoval County, where he's now making his living, making a difference in his community. He's actually taking a deep dive into that community and giving back. He works with the Sandoval County Fitness Council. Uh, Council he yes. works with seniors uh, there in Sandoval County. Uh, you know, he works at the senior centers and he is just really community minded. I will tell you that our paths have crossed frequently because he and his bride uh, are tremendous community servants. And it feels like they keep an eye on the work that I do. And it seems like no matter what I'm doing, if I'm raising the flag saying, look, I want to help these kids in this law camp, or I want to help these, uh, this community with our care package program, Mo White and his family are stepping up to say yes, and we're going to help you. Uh, yes, we think that's a great program. And 
here's a check to help make that happen. And they are just so generous. They are community servants. And that's why they uh, are so good at, at motivating us um, to make sure that we're focused with a holistic approach to personal fitness. And I want to say it is an honor, privilege, and really to my benefit and our community's benefit that you chose to make New Mexico your home by embracing that Southwest lifestyle and giving us all the momentum and the motion to move forward with Mo Fit. Morris White, welcome to Cafecito Con Colón. Thank you. I am honored to be hosted by you. It is such a wonderful thing to be here, to be in a place that has been my dream for so many years. So. Well, it is great. Tell us a little bit. How did you even, I know that you love the Southwest lifestyle, but how in the world does one find Corrales, New Mexico when you're coming in from Philadelphia? Well, I will keep that short story brief. However, I wanted to go to college here, actually at South, pardon me, Western New Mexico University down in Silver City. And I am Mo Jr. My father is a self-made man, a pharmacist, had his own businesses. He wanted me to follow in his footsteps. And basically I stayed in Philadelphia to pursue pharmacy, but it wasn't the thing for me. My father, this is all my father's fault. He implanted this into me. Uh, I began with him in, in, in pharmacy and medicine, and my father was in martial arts. He did karate, but around the time that I was a young man, it was, uh, pardon me, it was Kung Fu that was big. So right. that was the path that I took around the age of eight. And when my father got his businesses going, you know, I would stand behind the counter with him and people would say, hey, Morris, how are you doing? <laughs> shake your hand. No, thank you. I wanted to be on the preventative side. So I worked with this physical therapist a lot when my father would get tired of me in his pharmacy. And Schwarzenegger was big and bodybuilding was big and my Kung Fu was big. And that was my path. That was the path I stayed on and grew from. And subsequently, years later, when my wife and I, Sonia Sharma, decided we could finally make the move, we took the chance. And I am so blessed to be here. So it became holistic because I was seeing that so many people were losing their path, whatnot with fads and all of, all of these intrusions into our lifestyle and television and all of these things taking focus of being a better you. Right. So, it took me back to basics and having my wonderful wife and going into fitness, pardon me, being in fitness and wanting to evolve into a better human being, I took the holistic path. And holistic, what is it? Holistic is connecting the whole package, mind and body. And I wanted to do this for people because once you got that part connected, everything else was icing on the cake. So we developed it, developed it. And so my brand is safety first, holistic, sustainable, and diverse. And each of those even has a definition within itself. But that that is who I am and that's who Mo Fit people are. So and Mo, what's beautiful about that is is you know, you've been in this business now for 30 years and you were embracing that diversity long before it became the order of the day. And yes. so I'm wondering, you've been so tuned into that uh, diversity and embracing the diversity. And look, coming from Philadelphia, uh, it, it seems to me like, look, Philadelphia, you got here, what, 40, 45% African-American community in Philadelphia, yes. uh, another 10 or 15% Latino population there, or Hispano population, <laughs> like we call them here in New Mexico. Like, like if, you're, if you're not a person of color in Philadelphia, like, you're a minority, right? In some ways, because you've got nearly 50% of the people there are African-American. Yes. And if you add the Hispanic community and the African-American community, you add them together, they equal a majority of the population in Philadelphia, if I, if I am correct. Is that right? You are, you are absolutely correct. And then you come to Corrales and you like, you go out to the restaurant and you're pretty much on any given day, you're the only black man walking in in a cowboy hat. <laughs> 
Am I right? It's true. That is absolutely true. However, I seem to fit in well, and I'm well, very happy you, about that's that. That's because you got this charm. Look, I, let's not talk about your superpowers. Let's just talk about the <laughs> environment. Like you got the superpower. I'm telling you, folks. When I first met Morris, I was like, "Man, this is like one of the most charming men I've ever met." And he and his wife are just a dynamic duo. They've got a superpower of being able to make people feel comfortable and embraced and seen and heard. And and truly, 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 they are a special couple. But but. Talk to us a little bit about this morning and because and, and, you've got that holistic approach. So it seems to me like you've got a unique perspective of what it's like to go from being in that in that population that is a majority of color to come into Corrales, which is a very nice, small Southwest style community. But frankly, you don't have a, a lot of diversity there, so to speak. No, but it all goes back to the basics that I that I pride myself on going back to even with fitness and the holistic aspect of it. And that's that is simply that we all are in need of the same things. And when I am able to show people and believe you me, that whenever I get to speak to someone about fitness, it always goes back to these basics. And once I can get that in the minds of the potential client or someone that I am just helping or giving advice to, it sets them on the path. And I am so blessed to be in the industry that I am in because no matter what the background, the age, the sex, once I give them this gift of reconnecting with themselves and starting from a good way in a sustainable fashion, one foot in front of the other, they are very thankful. And then they give back to me, whether it is their wisdom, good advice and experience. So I am very happy to do what I do for those reasons. So I the difference that. in my complexion just does not matter. Well, let's, let's hit that a little bit more. Has there been a time in your life, have you been on your journey when the complexion did matter and it made things a little more difficult, made things more uncomfortable, or you felt like you had to work a little harder because of that complexion? Too many times, more than I can remember. And so with what's going on, be it COVID, be it the political environment, it always shows its face. And so I have to close the door on it and, and find my place. And it's only when I find my place that there is that peace again. So it, it has happened everywhere just about that I've been, even out of the country. I have been fortunate to travel because my wife is so intelligent. Sonia is brilliant. And with her business, when she would say, hey, Mo, I need to go to Spain. Well, I'm going to reschedule some people, yeah. <laughs> you know, so that that has been that has been the fortunate side of my life. And, and again, she is brilliant. But when these people come, it is it is a shock. It is it always gets me a bit off guard because. The negative ones are bullies and I hate bullies. <laughs> you know, they come when they see a weakness or a blind side. And so it is always a shock. And then there are the number of emotions that will happen with it that are very, very strong. <laughs> and I can push it to the side, but there is that unfortunate thing that I do have to watch out and it does affect me. And so this is my temple. So mm -hmm. I am fortunate to be able to come in here and be holistic, take it back inside. And then because I'm able to take it back inside, that makes me stronger. And I am able to give that back out to others. So there I am. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. not, you know, I am MoFit, anyone who takes a chance or the opportunity, the moment, the minutes to listen to us talk, 
they are most fit. Anyone that comes to me for the advice is already mo fit. Mm. So I appreciate that and I give it back to people. I, I appreciate that so much. And, and I'm really glad you're here this morning. Can we let's talk a little bit about during this time of COVID-19, during this time of, frankly, many of us are reevaluating our position, our role, our obligation under the time of social unrest Yes. Or a reevaluation of what does it really mean to embrace social justice uh, during the Black Lives Matter movement, during COVID nineteen, during the violence that we're seeing on our on our nightly news. How do you take a holistic approach to the work you do, but also continuing to process through the things that we see each and every day that are troubling in our community? You know, sometimes I feel like I am just a jock. Mm. <laughs> but my wife, Sonia, reminds me that I'm so much more. And she is every day trying to get better. And so, you know, when we got to Corrales, we reassessed everything. Mm -hmm. Heck, we reassessed everything before we came here. And that is the opportunity that COVID and the political environment gives each of us to reassess what is important in life. Right now, we cannot be socially active in number. Right now, we do not wish to be socially active with so many other people. So, we go inside, we reassess with what we do with ourselves, be it physically, mentally, hopefully both. And we have reassessed our lifestyle, getting rid of the clutter, getting rid of the clutter in every way, in every facet of our lives should be present. Whether it's the stuff on the shelves that is sitting there, oh, I will get to, or that apple on the table, which my wife always reminds me of. You have to eat the apple for it to be good for you. Oh, Sonia so, is a very wise woman. Sonia has all that wisdom. <laughs> Don't let that apple sit on the counter. You got to eat it if you want it to you do some good. You have to eat it. And that, that, you know, that is her motto. You have to eat the apple. She puts a good book in front of me, you know, and I go, oh, I'm a jock. You know, I'll go pick up the heavy stuff. I'll read the book later. No. Morris, read the book. That's hilarious. So, <laughs> so, you know, with reassessing our lifestyles, we take the moment to reassess what is good between perhaps you and your partner or you and your family or you and a friend, what is most important. And fortunately for me, I can connect that with the physical and mental lifestyle. Right. And it's, it's a no-lose situation. Once you start cleaning out the closet, once you start the decluttering of what's in your mind, the, the bad things that are out there on the television, on the radio, close off that clutter, clutter pardon me, and start to build up the better things, the true things, the on, honest things, the mindful things. Mm -hmm. then you then then all of the the southern negativity you can sort of push it to the side until you need to deal with it perhaps you can affect another in a positive way such that there is less clutter and so this fitness lifestyle that i have this holistic lifestyle of fitness that i have i am able to apply to other facets of life including all of this terrible, terrible negative and ne negativity that is being, that we are being bombarded with. Right. And it is, it is so heavy and it is terrifying. Even though I'm able to sit here with you and smile and be thankful and be honored to be with you and to have these people who are listening to our, to our conversation it's a bit terrifying on the outside. You have to go back within, be holistic. 
Well, I appreciate that. I, I, uh, I wonder, you know, let's talk a little bit about how we got from where we were to where we are, which is because of COVID-19, we've all taken a deep breath, but we prior to COVID-19 maybe had gotten on that treadmill and we were running so fast that we had lost sight of that which was important. And it seems to me like in some ways, the reevaluation of our social structure, our systems of power, none of this could have happened in a way that allowed it to be, in my opinion, a tipping point instead of a flashpoint, uh, but for the fact that COVID-19 slowed us down. But you and Sonia, you know, in Philadelphia and 30 years worth of personal training and Cyrus has put out some really nice comments here for us to contemplate as has Dr. Lang. And good morning to Jamie and Christina and, and Chava, uh, Christina Chavaria and Jason Anjadi, Elizabeth, thanks, thanks to everybody for stopping by this morning. But you know, how, how, do we, how do we get so busy that we could hardly contemplate those things that weren't right in our straight line of, line of sight? And how does your approach to fitness kind of change that? I mean, like, how do we, how do we build the MoFit philosophy into our everyday lives so that we can better address our own personal fitness? You know, me being down about 90 pounds from my high mark, uh, I will tell you very candidly, I think when we first met a year ago or however long ago it was, Mo, uh, I think I told you I was allergic to exercise and I still pretty much am allergic <laughs> to exercise. Uh, but, but, you know, so I manage a lot of my, my weight control by intake. Uh, but, but tell us your holistic approach. How does that help us not just physical fitness, but mental health in this time of COVID-19, in this time of trying to process what tomorrow is going to look like in a way that better allows all people on the margins to engage with our community and social justice. So Brian, you actually answered it yourself and you hit upon the most base of my philosophies when you said, take a breath. We are so bombarded with distractions that we don't take that breath. And there's a whole science to the breath. I don't care whether you are four years old or 104, you know, when people come to me, the first thing that I have to teach them is to take the proper breath. Mm -hmm. And that entails taking in the full breath, but letting out more letting out all the negativity, letting out the carbon dioxide, all of that negativity that we have incurred. From there, you can be mindful and honest. After you have looked inside and have asked yourself the question, what is really going on here? You can be honest with yourself and say, do I want this negative thing, whether it be the cookie, whether it be something on the television, or can I be doing something a little bit better? Or even why do I want the cookie? Or why am I looking at this negative thing on television? So it is all applicable and it is the base from where I start with people with that breath, with that mindfulness that make it all reachable. So I, I, really, I really love this. I really love the practice of it. And mind you, I am human too. So I miss taking that breath, oh, many times. But then you have to look at as well, the positive things in your life for the positive people, hopefully, that are around you because like you just said to me, we have to take the breath. It is that positivity, that goodness that lets us start on the path. And that path, as I said, so we have, we have being safe. Safe is just not your environment. Safe is just not the way you exercise, safe is the state of mind that you're in. Mm -hmm. 
then we have the holistic. Holistic is the whole package. For me and my profession, it is the neuromuscular connection. But that then transfers to being mindful, being aware. And then you have the- Sustainable. Sustainable, thank you very much. The sustainable, one foot in front of the other. <laughs> Someone who was 300 pounds did not get to be 300 pounds in a day. Someone who is did not get to be in a day. It is one step in front of the other, one foot in front of the other. Those that tend to leap tend to fall. And it is while they are falling that the most fit people take that one foot in front of the other, the sustainable path and, and go past them. And if they're very nice, they will help that person up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I'm sure they are. Because if they are looking at having a safe, holistic approach, that means the holistic side says that you have to be putting out that good energy, right, Mo? I yes, mean, you have to absolutely. be putting up that good energy. And that means that we bring each other along, that we continue to support yes. and lift one another up. And really, that's what Cafecito is all about. It's about giving us the empowerment, the encouragement, the vision, the inspiration, the motivation to lift up one another. And, and right. I'm so grateful that you've talked about that. And then the last piece of the safe, holistic, sustainable, and the fourth component of the MoFit program is diverse. Tell diverse. us about that. Diverse. Having, having a diverse system. We want to attack, we want to go toward our goals from different directions. So in the case of being, pardon me, in the case of being holistic or mindful about it, it might be changing the way you do an exercise. Hands up, hands down, <laughs> legs apart, feet together, whatever the case may be. But that being that diverse, as far as the exercise is concerned, increases your neuromuscular activity, which, is, which increases your, your lifestyle ability to improve because you are more connected with that whole package. And the better that you are connected with that whole package, <laughs> the longer you live, the richer lifestyle that you will have in that longer length of life. And so also, and finally, diversity means having fun, finding some I joy. That. I love that fun and joy. And we can motivate one another when we embrace those positive feelings and that wonderful approach. And we're so glad to have people like Lynn Troyan tuned in. We got Randy coming in from Doña Ana County, New Mexico, Angelica, wow. uh, Kenny Crow. Uh, thank you all for joining us. And, and today, and we're right about 940, and we're going to go about another five minutes because I have to go. Uh, we didn't do links today because I had to cut it short with Mo because uh, uh, I wanted to go straight to Mo because I have to do a candidate finance training thing today with our Secretary of State. And so I gotta, I gotta be disciplined. And so there are a couple of things I wanna cover um, before we, before we uh, wrap up today, Mo. And I wanna say thank you for being so diligent and getting us scheduled and then coming on today um, because you are giving us really the opportunity to uh, embrace the momentum from this morning. And so that we get into forward motion and motivation and that we can become more fit. And that's, 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 that's what I want folks to do is think about how can we be more fit with the motivation that you've lent us this morning. But people ask me this question all the time too, and I'm gonna get your perspective. Cyrus asked about, hey, does, does Morris, does Mr. White, does he go dark? Like, do you go in that place where you have to be by yourself and on that pilgrimage and, and, and recharge and, and, because you've got that wonderful energy that every time I'm in your presence, Morris, I feel it. But but tell us about what that kind of that going dark looks like for you, because even though you go dark, I know you keep the momentum to where you're continuing the forward motion. I am human. I go dark. I go very dark. So when we do go dark, 
hopefully you have the, you've not gone so dark that you cannot take that breath. And if you fail to be able to take that breath, we need to find that positive light in our life, whatever or whomever it may be, just to give it the spark. So yes, I go dark. And when I go dark, I go to my space. Please, I forget the individual's name that asked the question. Was it Cyrus? Cyrus? Mm -hmm. Please Cyrus, make a, make a place for yourself. Reach out, heck, you could reach out to me at morris at mo-fit.com. I love what I do. It, it is a joy and to give someone the opportunity to smile back is a joy to give someone the opportunity to, to better themselves, it is a joy. So Cyrus, make a place for yourself, find a place for yourself, find the person, whether it's that one or someone outside who can give you that spark to go. But we are all human and we all need someone to give us a little helping hand I love that. I love that. Thank you, Morris. And thank you, Cyrus, for asking the question. I'm wondering, let's take the last five minutes or so on, on, on two things. One, I want you to kind of give us the elevator pitch, so to speak, on, on what it looks like if somebody wants to engage with Mo Fitness so that they can find the momentum and the motivation to get that forward motion mm -hmm. with Morris White. Uh, what would that look like? Uh, give me the elevator pitch. And then at the end, what I was hoping we could do, uh, Mo, was kind of maybe do that 60 second, what does that breath look like when it's, a, uh -huh. when it's led by Mo White? So we can take that deep breath together as we finish this episode of Cafecito con Colón. And we're gonna do that to end and we'll take just a minute or so to, to do that final deep breath. And then I'm just gonna sign us off for the day. So before I give you the opportunity to give your elevator pitch and we put your email in there, we put your website in there in the comments section, please go back and read the comments Mo. I know Sonia will make you do that because she's tuned in <laughs> yes. on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, but 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 let's be, before I give it to you for the pitch and the breath exercise, uh, I just want to tell everybody I love you very much. I look forward to seeing you next week. Make sure you reach out to people who are in isolation and tell them they're not alone, that we're in this together and that we're making progress every day. And today we're stronger and better than we were yesterday. And tomorrow we're going to be stronger and better than we are today because we are embracing these wonderful, wonderful ideas and this wonderful energy that people like Mo are bringing to Cafecito con Colón um, so that we can all feel like we are in this together and making progress every day. I'm grateful to be serving you as your state auditor. I'm grateful to have the team that I have to uh, surround me so that we can lift up New Mexico and embrace the values of accountability, transparency, and excellence in government. I'm honored to serve you. I'm honored and grateful for your friendship. I love you very much, New Mexico, and I want God to bless each and every one of you. And so with that, Mo, let's just transition. Oh, I also want to say uh, hi to my adopted mom there, Ophelia. Uh, good to see you this morning, Ophelia. And Hola, James Ophelia. Has sent his love back, and Morris sends his love mom. Uh, my, my surrogate mom, Ophelia, she is... Uh, just loves James Lewis. And James and I spoke yesterday after our episode of Cafecito con Colón, and he just talked about how special my mentor Dick Munzer was to him and to uh, Ophelia was to him. So quick shout out to her. But Mo, let's hear it. We've got we've got two minutes left. I want to hear your elevator pitch so people will go to your website and send you an email because um, your phone number is not on your website very quickly. I didn't see it, uh, but I was oh, on the bottom there. But is it on the bottom? I missed it. And so people can call you, but they can also send you that email about signing up. But what does that look like? How do people engage with Mo Fitness so they can get the momentum to have the motion to go even forward and bigger and better than they could ever imagine. The easiest way to get in touch with me is via the website at morris at mo-fit.com. And no matter whom you are, if you send me an email or send me a text message or call, I will get back to you. 
What does MoFit do? MoFit loves to reconnect a human being with themselves. Noro muscularly first. And it all happens from the basics, the breath. You have to remember that getting fit, whatever that may be for the individual, is for you. No one else. It is not about the fad that is being sold. It is not about bad information out there. Our bodies already know what we need. And if you take the step with being mo fit, and anyone that listens to this is already mo fit, but I would love to hear from you directly. And if you take the step toward being mo fit, you will make that connection with yourself. And everything that we do sustainably, therefore, is icing on a cake. Once you are connected with yourself, you can say, hey, Mo, how about this? What if I wanted to run for a longer distance? What if I wanted to lose five, eight pounds? What if I wanted to be stronger through the chest and arms? We've made the connection, then everything else is a sustainable step-by-step -step progression. You do not get injured with MoFit. Safe, holistic, sustainable, and diverse. That's what That's you right. bring to the table. And, and I don't that want to, my brand. to remind everybody, I'm wearing my kit today, my, <laughs> my, uh, my um, New Mexico United, Somos Unidos. Uh, they play today at 6 p.m. I posted on my, on my Facebook cover photo the details on how to tune in on the radio. Uh, we will and, be watching that game we'll tonight. See. And I know you'll be watching because you got the motivation to make sure that we got that forward motion so that we can be mo fit with more. That's right. Take us through this breathing exercise and finish this up. The breath. The breath is the most important and basic thing that you can do for yourself. It is simple. It is for you. You will simply fill your lungs as much as you possibly can fill them. You will hold the breath five seconds, five seconds. And then you will expel that negativity as empty and empty and as long as you can. And then you'll immediately feel better. You should do this for yourselves morning and night. Three breaths I like to do as soon as right before I go to bed and as soon as I wake up. It clears your mind, it resets you for the day and it lets you turn into you so that you can get your day started. And there we are. There you go, folks, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You take that deep breath for five seconds. You hold it. Take the big and breath in. All that negativity. Release that stress and tension and do that three times mm -hmm. as you start your day. Yes. Your day. The in breath and the out breath. The out breath should be minimally as long as the in breath. If it takes you five seconds to fill your lungs, it should at least take you five seconds to expel that air. And that's what we don't do when we're under pressure. I was going to say, I don't seem to do that. I, 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 I fill up my lungs and then I, then I expel You hold it. Quick yeah, so <laughs> I mean, I'm holding it too long. I probably should hold it a little less so I have a little more energy to expel it um, uh, with equal time that I had taken it in, right? Yes. Yes. Mo, Have you're a great expand. man. You're a great man. I love your energy. I, I was inspired by how you and Sonia actually sought me out uh, over a year ago to just kind of check in with me about the programs you heard I was doing. And you asked, how could you help? And you just had that selfless approach. And now we know that it's because you have that safe, holistic, sustainable, and diverse approach to fitness. And that means that you've got to not just be receiving, but you've got to be giving. You've got that servant's heart. Uh, please give our regards to Sonia. We want people to get Mo Fit. I've already put that out there for folks. I put your email out there. I put your website out there in the comments. Connect with this wonderful human being. Learn how you can be part of his plan. Uh, he says that if you were tuned into Cafecito Con Colón, you're already You're already Mo Fit. Mo -fit. I love it. You make it a beautiful day. Give Sonia our best regards. I'm going to get on to my training. 
with the Secretary of State's office so I can continue to work hard to serve the state Goodbye, of New Mexico. Goodbye, Brian, and thank you everyone for tuning in. You all have Thanks, a MoFit day. <laughs> That's right. Have a MoFit day. We'll see you on Monday, everybody. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mo. Sonia, our best.